Coach, you've, uh, you've got several track guys going back and forth. Yeah. How's that working out? Well, it, I mean, it's great for uh, really the track team. I mean, three of the guys won last week, <laughs> you know, on Saturday. So, but, um, you know, it's hard, you know, because that, that, like today they missed the walkthrough and then they come late for practice. So, um, but, it's, but, but it's good for Baylor, right? I mean, it's good for the track team. And, um, and then as they get older, the problem, they're all four freshmen, right, still learning football. Mm -hmm. So um, we don't have them as much, but uh, I think it's real good for, uh, you know, our track team. And it's also good that, you know, there's a lot of players in the state that run track and they see that, that you can come to Baylor and run track and play football. So I think that's good. Kalon uh, came here as a wide receiver, now he's a DB. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, he started making the transition last year. Is he coming along? Really oh, yeah, he's, he's doing terrific. The kid can really run. And he made a play today on the ball. Yeah, he's got to be four feet off the ground. I mean, he's unbelievable. So he's really athletic, and uh, he just needs to play more. Mm -hmm. um, so, but, and he can really run, obviously. Coach Rule is mentioning that with Kalen is more working on his side to side now as opposed to God, straight line speed is not an issue for yeah. him. Yeah, it's all the lateral stuff and all the body mechanics of the position he's got to learn. Because you really never, nobody's ever taught him how to pedal and do all those things. So that's all new to him. Um, and so, uh, you know, he, he has through spring football and all summer, and, um, you know, he'll, he'll be a pretty good player in the fall for us. With him out, with uh, a couple of others out, how's kind of a corner? position looking, how are you kind of uh, monitoring guys? Well, we're playing everybody we have in the secondary because we have a bunch of guys hurt. We have Grayland hurt, you know, it's not in spring football and three safeties. So we're just, everybody's playing, you know, so, uh, and we're playing different positions, but that's just the, the situation we're in. We only have 32 guys on defense that are in pads, which is not a lot. How's JT coming along? Good. JT's going to be a good player. He can run and getting bigger, he's 190 pounds, and so, um, yeah, he'll be a good player for us. Speaking of players getting bigger, how much have you noticed the size difference between even the last couple of years and this year with some guys? Yeah, you know, all the young guys have all put on weight, right? Uh, you know what's hard is we don't have any fat players on defense, which means, you know, we don't have linebackers that can go play D-line. We're trying to get our linebackers to gain enough weight to play linebacker, right? So we don't have a big safety that can go play linebacker because they're trying to gain weight. So, I mean, it's a good thing you don't have, you know, you know guys that have a weight problem. But you can't also move people, you know, down one position either and get more athletic. So, but we're getting bigger, and uh, our strength coach does a great job. Is that just a matter of having to shuffle guys this spring, or are you just kind of almost waiting patiently for guys to get big enough to have that kind of depth? Well, we, yeah, hopefully, you know, we because we, we have still a lot of young guys on defense, so we got to get bigger and stronger, and so guys are can play multiple positions. So, what have you seen from the defense so far this spring? Well, it's too early to tell, right? I mean, we, we were in pads on Saturday, which we didn't practice very long, and then today. But, um, and a lot of guys are playing new positions, and, and so it's going to take us a while. You know, in 10 days, I can give you a better guesstimation of, you know, how we're developing and stuff. But we have a ways to go. It's not just the guys that are getting shuffled around. The coaching staff has also changed. You have some new faces on the defensive side of the ball. How do you feel like all those changes are working out? Oh, good. Really, really. Uh, so Evan Cooper has been involved in the secondary last year. So that's not really new. Now it, it's upgraded his responsibility, uh, but he worked with the, the secondary last year. And then, uh, and then um, uh, Joey McGuire came over, right, and helped him with the D line. So and and then, you know Frank still. Um, in the D-line room, OCAM. So it's been terrific. Uh, I think the guys are doing a good job and have a lot of energy, and I think it'll be fun. Is there anything you've been especially impressed with so far, these four practices? Not really. I mean, you know, there's, um, we're trying to do a couple new things, and so, um, you know, that's what spring ball's for, to see who we are and, and try some new things. And, um, and so we're in the develop, developmental stage of some of the new stuff. So we'll see here in about 10 days how it works. With some of the older players, I mean, the younger guys are learning the system, but with the older guys who kind of know it better at this point, where's the development come from? Yeah, no, they're, they're doing a good job. Yeah, uh, we're getting bigger and stronger, and those guys in the, the black jerseys out there, they're doing a nice job. Is it just making sure they still know where to be at all times, yeah. basically? Yeah, and you know, they're getting probably more reps than we want because of our depth, right? I mean, we don't. We have a lot of guys hurt, so with only 32 guys in pads, you know, a lot of guys have to play and play different positions. Um, so, 
one, one of the things that uh, Coach Rules talked about before is it get, eventually get into a point where the younger guys teach, or the older guys teach the younger guys. Are you starting to see that now? Uh huh. It's starting to, to develop. Um, so that's just a process, and the process is getting better. So. You've uh, had to replace some D linemen. Mm -hmm. How's that coming along? Good. You know, there are a lot of young kids out there playing D line, so, um, and, and uh, we're doing a few things different up front, so um, it's just a matter of. Uh, them maturing and, and, and getting bigger and stronger and they have gotten bigger and stronger so um, you know they've just got to get some reps under their belt and I think they'll be fine. How much better can uh, James Lynch get? Uh, yeah James you know uh, it, uh, James could get a lot better I think. Um, I think if uh, you know he get he plays a little bit harder this year and, and more technical that uh, his productivity can almost double I think. Hmm. So. What kind of strides have you seen from Blake Lynch? Good. We actually played Blake at Will backer today. So he's been in the Sam. And I said, let's go, go over and play Will. So we're trying to play multiple positions, right? So, um, and he did a great job there. So, um, yeah, but Blake's come along a long ways as a defender. You know, we counted the other day, he's played six positions. Here. I was going to say, <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. He's done a lot of things. Does it feel like he's kind of settling in now, though, as mm -hmm. opposed to when he was shuffling back and forth all the oh, time? Yeah, he's settling now. Yeah. He understands the linebacker position, all three of them, really. Um, so he's done a nice job. Phil Matt talked about it. I mean, you guys have emphasized it from you first came in, the creating turnovers. Um, it's like, like I said, you've been emphasizing it from day one. How do you get them to kind of flip that switch or, or get better at that? Well, the big thing is, you know, it's got to become a mentality with the whole program, right? And we still haven't been gone you know, over the hump. Now, we're starting to get more turnovers this spring. So, but everybody, that's all we talk about, right? So we're really trying to make an emphasis of it. And, and it really comes, the players, um, I always say this, if you want a, a DB that intercepts the ball, recruit one that in, does it in high school, right? If they don't intercept the ball in high school, they're probably not going to do it in college, right? If they strip the ball in high school, they're probably going to strip it in college. And so um, so I, in the recruiting process, we look for that too. But uh, um, we're getting better with it. All right. Thanks, man.